Hello and welcome to another video from Double O Rail. This is uh, part eight and the final part of our uh, twenty pound and fifteen pence uh, challenge series. So if you haven't watched uh, any of the previous videos, uh, basically I'm a member of the MRL forums in the UK. So I think it's uh, mrlforum.co.uk, and uh, this year they they had a competition uh, which was to uh, try to do a model railway project uh, with a budget of twenty pounds and fifteen pence. Uh, there were a couple of things that you could get for free, like a, any kind of donated parts, um, paint, and uh, kind of uh, basic uh, supplies were free. Uh, stuff that you would use to make stuff like uh, plastic card, uh, track, and so on, and, and actual locomotives. Um, you had to include those in the cost. So um, I picked up this uh, old Triang uh, Blue Pullman for uh, under $20 on eBay. And it was in pretty bad shape, but uh, I managed, as you can see, to uh, repaint it and uh, weather it up a little bit so it looks uh, pretty nice right now. Um, so, uh, what did we do to this thing? So, as you can see, uh, we, we repainted it. Uh, we also uh, repaired the windows and the, uh, and the roof of the uh, center car uh, that was uh, badly damaged. Uh, we also... Um, painted the interiors, replaced all of the axles here with uh, new uh, metal axles, used the uh, R8096 from Hornby, they dropped right in, uh, worked pretty well. And we used uh, a couple of different uh, umbral paints, so we used uh, the Bior Yellow here on the front, inner city grey for all the grey parts, uh, the roof was uh, Bior uh, Coach Grey uh, roof, uh, the blue stripe, is uh, using uh, Bior uh, Diesel Blue and uh, I also used weathering powders. I used the uh, AIM uh, Black Grime uh, weathering powders on the grill, the roof and uh, to a lesser degree on the front here and then I also along the wheels and the undercarriage uh, we used the uh, medium earth brown kind of color and um, I also used some uh, testers white paint on the uh, some of the windows and the actual white effect that you get getting there on those windows is from um, the matte varnish spray so as the train passes um, it actually becomes clear and you can see inside. Um, I also created uh, the um, transfers here, the, the water slide transfers or as they're called here in the states, uh, decals. Um, basically I created these on the computer, I uh, had to uh, use a white decal paper because uh, as you probably know most printers can't print white they just simply omit the, the print on the paper um, so with this you get special kind of uh, white decal paper but then part of the problem is you need to be able to put a bit of an outline in there so that you can obviously create the, the text uh, so I had to color match as best I could the uh, umbral inner city paint which was about two or three coats um, with uh, one on the computer and luckily I got it on like the second go so it's uh, not too bad. So in terms of uh, running numbers, I don't know if you can see, I know in previous videos you can probably see, but um, there's running numbers right there on each of the items. And this one is uh, W60098. The other end is W60099. And the center car is W60748, I think. Um, so I went with this particular set of running numbers for a very good reason. Um, the Midland Pullman went out of service around 1966 and this particular livery was applied to the remaining Pullman services um, in 19, between 1967 and 1969. So uh, it would have worked for the, the Birmingham Pullman or the uh, Bristol Pullman. And since this is uh, our Sydney Gardens loosely uh, modeled area and we have Chippenham Junction which is also in the Bristol kind of area um, we decided to go with trying to mimic the uh, the Bristol Pullman so uh, I went with a set of running numbers I knew uh, was used for that particular uh, locomotive and uh, with this particular livery on it. Uh, I did go a little overboard with the weathering and there's two reasons for that. Uh, one and this will really only run on the Triang Super 4 track unless I rewheel the uh, power bogey so um, more than likely this thing will run but it won't run very often and if it does run it will run on the um, on the Super 4 track so 
And what I'm probably going to do with this, since it looks pretty nice, is I'm probably going to put it somewhere on the layout in the siding. Uh, so it kind of looks like it's in storage. Uh, so for those videos I shoot that are uh, based uh, post-1973, but before uh, the Pullman was scrapped, um, you know, it'll be sitting in the siding, so it'll be a nice little kind of uh, background kind of uh, thing going on. So um, that's that's about it. So what I'm going to do for the rest of this video is uh, show you this thing uh, up close. So I'll pan the camera around. I might move the train up a little closer um, before I do that. And then um, what we'll do is we'll show it to you uh, running on the Super 4 track, hopefully. All right, well, uh, here we go. Folks, uh, there you have it. It uh, not only runs, it runs very, very well. I was actually uh, quite pleasantly surprised by how well it ran. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this project uh, over the eight parts. And uh, if you have any comments or feedback, uh, please put it in the comments below. Other than that, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And we've got plenty more cool projects on the way. Thank you for watching. And until next time.